Well, hello, Taurus, and welcome to your channeled intuitive reading from the Gasmic Tarot. As we expand on the September energies, there's a bonus um, money and career forecast. Just a quick one for you. September 2021 for our lovely Taurus. So let's see what pops out for you here. Okay, guys. Oh, thank you. Whoops. <laughs> Too many. I just hate when that happens. Can't read half the deck for you. Oh. Take that one. I must hit those. Okay. No, oh, we have this in one of the other ones. Okay. Alrighty then. Hmm. As I grab a little Americano. Hmm. Okay. So I see some kind of struggle here. No surprise, right? Uh, some kind of struggle here with the um, with the swords, with the, the five of swords here. It's like somebody's being a little bit of a stinker. Somebody's not playing fairly. Uh, it could be that you um, are in a competition for a position and somebody's taking all the stops out. Maybe it's a promotion in your, in your company. Uh, but you're dealing with a situation where things don't seem so fair that some, some others might have some type of advantage over you. And it's having you, um, as you're coming in, or um, you're having to balance um, money. You're having to make money decisions. Maybe things have been a little bit tight for you. And it's, um, it's causing you um, some agita, some heartburn. You know, and you think that, you know, you're just never going to be able to move forward. And actually, what I do see here uh, with this Knight of Wands is that the blocks to progress are being lifted in September for you. So you'll be able to move forward um, in your money, in your monetary or your career endeavors. This might be a small business that you've got. Um, Okay, so for so spirit is saying there is some there are some of you that have this small business idea. This expansion has kind of gotten stalled, um, and we're breathing new life into that. And the Queen of Swords, you know, is about being working smarter, not harder, but smarter in this situation. You've got this beautiful nine of coins here. Okay. So well, let me go back to this. So, so, so somebody's going, but tell them what that means. All right. Smarter, not harder. Restructure, organize, write things down, make a plan. Okay. Sorry, spirit. Um, but there are ways to organize what you're doing that's going to be more beneficial for you in the long run. All right. So that's what smarter, not harder is here. Uh, and you know, I see some financial stability here. I see the Nine of Pentacles. So this is about financial stability, tending your garden, being independent, especially that female, uh, the female energy. This is about you feeling proud of your accomplishments and achievements and getting that inspiration from surrounding yourself with things that you really care about. Maybe you're tending your garden literally in order to feed the soul, you know, um, this is about being well balanced. So finding the balance that you feel like you're always juggling, the obstacles will be lifted. You work, you'll, you'll figure out a way to work smarter, not harder. Nobody said that, you know, well, they do say, hey, you know, nothing happens without hard work. Not necessarily true. You can find something that you're passionate about that doesn't even feel like work. 
and I see opportunities here for advancement, lots of um, solo, um, throat chakras, a little turquoise, emails, um, uh, communications, phone calls, text messages. So opportunities knocking on the door. You've got the fish in the cup. To me, that's always about abundance and good news. So you've got the opportunity now to move forward in a positive way. But because, you know, the cups does bring good news and we're talking about money, you know, and it's about lightening up. So serious, not necessary. Lighten up to ascend. You know, this is about a very creative time for you. And, you know, you've got this beautiful opportunity here to really shine if you can open yourself up to that creativity. So let go of that negative Earth A energy that someone else or a sold, an older situation is putting upon you, you feel put upon, and I don't know, put upon, do they even say that anymore? Somebody's spirit's talking in my ear, okay? And allowing yourself to see that that obstacle to your success has been lifted and you'll be able to move forward as you restructure the way that you're doing business. All right, guys. Hey, that's all I've got. Thanks again for your likes. Thanks for supporting the channel for your and subscribing and clicking that little button. And, you know, enjoy the bonus September reading and we'll see you next time. Take care.